Hi, Sue Wilson. I've got kind of a fun technique in this. I came across this purely by accident and kind of liked it. So I thought I'll share it with you. Um, but it's just a, a, a really fun technique using the luster polishes. So this is what we'll be using for our video. We have the You Are the Best, and that is the sentiment we'll be using. This is the Cosmo Flower stamp set. So they match up perfectly with the dies which have the same exact name, Cosmo Flowers. Okay. Um, together, these are absolutely stunning. I have to say, if you go for the die, you should really get the stamp set because they are beautiful together. But I am going to start out first with the luster polishes. And I've got the Tantalizing Teal and the Violet Vibe here. Okay. So um, they've all got their little applicators. I've used these on a couple other videos, so they're a little messy already. But what we want to do is pop some onto card and a little bit, a little bit thick, okay? Just make sure it coats really well. You want to have, not so it's so thin you can see through it, in other words. I might come back to that. A little bit of this one. This is your violet, okay? Pop that on there. And you go all the way to the edge just for, for the demonstration purposes. I'm not going to, but that should be about enough. Let's move these out of the way. Got a little container here of cling film. Now I have to admit this is the world's most frustrating stuff. You have to get it started. There you go. And my well-used box has been around a little bit, but there's a cutter on here, so let me just pull off a large enough piece. And Cut it. Okay. Now, what you want to do is carefully lay it over that. Okay. And squish it. All right. Just scrunch it all up. Okay. Now, this will give you some really neat tech, um, texture to your background, if you can see that. And I'm going to use this on another card. But for this particular card, I'm going to just use the cling film to this because I thought it was kind of silly to throw it away when it really kind of looked really nice. Now, ordinarily, I will let this dry on here um, and then it just pulls right off. It's very easy. But because um, time-wise we're doing a video, I'm going to go ahead and take it right off of there. I've got another piece of white card. Now, I'm just going to give it a little light spritz of spray glue. Okay. And I'm going to carefully peel this off. All right, and I'm going to transfer that onto this. Pop it down. Now, sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less, but you always get kind of a cool pattern. And then you get this really nice little shiny bit, and you've got some of the wrinkles that come from the cling film, too. So you've got some nice pieces. But it's still, even if you take it off soon, you still get a really nice texture there. Okay, set both of these to the side. And I'm going to do a little bit of a clean here, just because I've got it messy. I don't want that. There we go. And I'm going to bring in the one I've done earlier, so you can see it. And I've just cut it down to size. So I just cut it with the paper cutter, with the um, saran right on it, or cling film as you call it. Americans call it saran wrap. Okay, so that is going to give me a piece I'll use in a minute. We're going to come back. So I've got the Flourish Border 3D embossing folder. I'm going to add a little bit of texture to the background for our card and pop that in. And I'll give you a quick measurement on this. I think it is five and three quarters by seven and a quarter. Pop that right down on that. I'm going to give it a light spritz. So anytime you have 3D folders, it's just a good idea to spritz them because it allows the fibers to kind of really move a bit more that into my platinum machine here. Give it a quick run through. There we go. So we've got a really nice texture. I've got a little bit of blue on that. That won't matter. I'm going to bring out my base because I've got that pop of color in there. I've gone for white on white and I've just done a paper piercing around the edge. My sort of signature piece put that right down, pop that right into the middle there, there we go, put it down really crooked right there, Let's try that again, that'll work, okay, so this piece I've added a little bit of mounting foam to the back, 
I'm going to raise that up, and that's just going to give us a nice center. And I've just cut that about the same size as the middle piece here. There we go. And I've got my Cosmos flowers. Now, I've done one, but I've got a couple more here to do. And I've just gone ahead and stamped them and cut them out with the dies. So you can see like that. I'm going to bring in the Peacock Feathers and the Blueprint Sketch Distress Oxides. And what I'm going to do is give a little bit of the blue into the centers of all of these. Just sort of pounce it. And I use the tip of the smoothie for that. There we go. And the Peacock Feather. I'm going to go around the edge and just tip them a little bit with that and I think it gives a really really pretty look so you've got a little bit of the white and the black showing through as well but I think that's such a nice look on this flower just hit all the tips of this easily there we go now, if you want, you can dry them with a heat tool. It's totally up to you. I'm not going to bother with it, but I would like to give it a little bit of, of forming. So I'm just going to give it a little crunch here around my finger. Put some, put some glue right in the center here. There we go. Same thing with this. Just gives it a more natural look. And you can use like a stylus if you want to do it properly. And this one, I'm going to put a little pearl right in the center. I've got an eight millimeter one right here. Pop that in. We're going to offset that. Let's see if we can get that to set up. Oops, a little bit off. There we go. Give that a second. Go back to the smaller ones here. Work it around. Some glue in the middle. Oop, get a hold of that one. Do that. And I'm going to put a little pearl in the middle of this one. I've got some five millimeters here. Let me see if I can get a hold of that. Right into the center of that. I'm going to offset that one. See how pretty those look? Oops, let's move that just a tiny bit. There we go. I'm going to give that a second. I'm just going to tidy my fingers. I have gone ahead and done the You Are the Best with a black shadow, and I've used white gloss card on the top there to kind of really make it pop. Give it a quick spray. And I think I can even add a tiny bit of glue onto the back of some of these wider areas just to make sure it sticks really well. I put that right in the middle of our saran area. There we go. And I've got my flowers, and I've done a little one here. So I've got three different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead, put the larger one down in the corner by itself, just right off the edge here on my glue dot. There we go. And I've got the medium one. Oops. like that, and the little ditty one. It's quite a nice range of sizes for the flowers too. That like that. Bring in my glue, and I've got several of the leaves from the sets that I've cut here. I'm going to take a couple of the backs off of these larger ones. So I've got a left and a right facing, which is really nice. Put that into place. Just lift up the flower a little bit, like that. And maybe one more this way. And there's another one up here. And you can go ahead and uh, use your stylus to give some forming to the leaves if you prefer to. Just for speed, I'm just going to pop them into place. And let's put this one right under that. And... This one looks like it's going the other way, yes. Under that. And maybe just, I'll tell you what, let's use this one. Go 
going right down. We'll put one more under this bigger flower. And just a little guy under this one. But how pretty is that? So basically, it's the leftover bit that you use that makes a beautiful background. So it's another thing I love about crafting. There's just nothing wasted. You can use just about anything you like. So hope you've enjoyed today's video and you get out your cling film and you try it at your house.